What's going on guys? My peace and blessings of Allah be upon you. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can uh, deal with uh, room tax. And actually, I already done with this room tax. Today, I'm going to show you how we can fill the colors with respect to this room tax. So, let's begin. So, I'm going to place here uh, all the rooms one by one. I actually created a plan here. And you can see here, uh, this is actually in the plan, what I have created. Uh, we can actually have uh, whatever plan we need. And based on that, we can actually place the rooms. Once we are placing the rooms, you can see how we are getting all these uh, uh, rooms one by one. Now, what here we can do is, uh, if you're seeing it carefully, you can see here I'm having 31 feet, 4 inches, and 23 feet, and 4 inches again. Now, when you look at it carefully, I am having one of the dimension which is horizontal, one of the dimension which is vertical, which is correct. But when you come into this thing, you can see the first dimension I'm having horizontal, but it is uh, written here 31 feet. So how we can deal with this thing is just select that thing, go to edit family. And then you can see here actually I'm having uh, this kind of thing. So I'm selecting this part. No, not this thing. Yeah, this thing. Now what I can do is just uh, first of all save as this family. And uh, after saving it as, go to the load, uh, you know, edit label, and then you can actually make this thing, uh, or I can say just swap this thing. Now, when you click on OK, and then again loading this thing in project and override existing, and you can see here how the things are actually changing. I just uh, didn't put this X in the between, that's the reason it's showing like this. However, I'm just undoing this part right now. Uh, now what i want is i want uh, all the rooms to be having certain name so i'm just giving it let's say for one i'm giving it to be hall and then for this thing i'm giving it to be let's say bathroom bathroom okay now the next thing is i'm making this thing as uh, let's say something what do you say guest or drawing room let's say just randomly i'm putting some name drawing room then afterwards i'm just naming it again something oh something easy to talk about that <sighs> okay now let's put this thing something else let us say bedroom and then afterwards i'm making this thing as master bedroom going here and master bedroom okay uh bedroom yeah okay then afterwards i'm having again let us say i'm putting this thing as my parking yeah, that's done. After doing all these things, what I'm going to do is I will. Uh, there's another problem which I want to show you. Like when I'm seeing it, it is written here 50, 52 bit and 4 inches and 18 bit and 4 inches. It is written like that. If you're going to measure the dimension perfectly, putting the tab here, again tab here, it's actually 20 fit. And if you again me measuring this part here, pressing tab and clicking here, pressing tab and clicking here, 31 fit. So nowhere it is actually connected to what I am showing here. So in that case, what you have to do is you have to use the room separator. In order to use the room separator, you can see here, I can go in architecture and just like this room separator and draw a line here, uh, not from here, actually, yeah, from here. And then uh, click here. You can see it is actually now perfect, 39 feet, 4 inches by 20 feet, 10 inches. If I'm gonna measure it right now, the I, and pressing tab here, and again pressing tab here, you can see it's actually 20 feet, 10 inches, and it's just uh, swapped. So that was uh, something which is interesting, like whenever you want to have the separate part, which is uh, uh, like this thing, so you can actually put the room separator. If you don't want uh, uh, this room separator to be visible in your plan, just right click and go for hide in view and then go for element and it's going to hide. If you want to make that thing back again, then you can just click in reveal toggle and you can actually select that thing in order to make this thing back again. So this is how you can actually do. Now the next thing is I said you that I'll be showing you the colorful legends. Actually, the name is colorful legend for that thing. What you have to do is you have to go for rooms and areas and then go for color schemes. In that color schemes, you can see there's a dialog box which is going to appear here. Just click it and then you can see it been, I'm having an option of rooms. Then you can see by default, you've got certain different kind of uh, colors available. If you want to change that color, yes, you can just select that thing and you can actually change the color as, uh, according to your wish. So I'm selecting one different kind of colors. This is a little bit darker. No, I don't want that dark. I'm just making this a little bit lighter so that the text should be uh, perfectly visible. I'm just clicking it and if you want to change like this, you can actually change as per your requirement. I've changed according to my requirement and you can actually change according to your requirement. Now, after doing that thing, I'm just going on apply and then OK. And here we go, it doesn't have any color still. And you can see it is uh, still unfilled. So I'm just trying to put it again. 
So, uh, selecting it and then I will be having uh, giving it a little bit of a name let us say um, what's the name I don't know let's say storeroom yeah okay storeroom yeah that's it then afterwards what I'm going to do is I will be going to uh, gain this android yeah in this android I'll be having an option of color fill and you can see here I'm having an option called fill legend click it and then just put it somewhere like this it's gonna ask you some questions like in terms of space just give it rooms and then here give it a name then after click on ok and you can see how the things are actually filled so this is how you can actually give the colors for your different kind of rooms so that was uh, pretty much about it um, if you have any future recommendation for for creation of the tutorials it may be Revit, it may be 3ds max or uh, you have so many different kind of softwares where you can actually find the problem and feel free to um, share this to your friends the information is uh, perhaps very useful whenever people use autocad it's going to have a lot of different hatches to do so that finally we'll be getting some uh final output so in this thing Revit is very fast and simple you can actually place the doors and windows easily that's the reason we usually use the Revit and you can see here even in this case it's very fast and simple for the AutoCAD we'll be having different kind of dimensions right side dimension you know horizontal dimension and vertical dimension so it's gonna have a bit time consumption there so Revit is a little bit faster that's the reason I uh, prefer your uh, friends also to learn the Revit so that they can excel in their uh, you know excel in their fears so that was uh, pretty much about it and uh, uh, okay so you can actually prefer any other tutorials if you want so for today it's uh, I think more than enough so until that